Well, China is exempting some American goods from the additional tariffs, and that is being seen as a potential positive sign before the two countries meet for in-person talks next month in Washington. Jess Smith is there in D.C. with the latest. Jess, what is China now removing from its tariff list, and is China saying why? Well, 16 products will be removed from this tariff list. They are granting exemptions on several products, including pharmaceuticals, um, some lubricant oils. So they have a list of these 16 categories. You can see them there, cancer drugs, grease, um, fish, fish meal for feed, um, those items. But what's not on that list agricultural products. That has been the key way that China has retaliated against the United States by putting tariffs on U.S. farm products like soybeans and pork. Those items still not being exempted. So farmers here in the U.S. will still feel that pain. Now, these exemptions will start on the 17th and then they will last until September 16th of next year. This, as you mentioned, does come as both countries are preparing to meet face to face here in Washington to see if they can work something out, try to get these trade talks back on track. And the U.S. is set to raise tariffs to 30 percent on October 1st. So we'll see if this helps ease the tensions at all. The editor of the Global Times, which is a mouthpiece for the Communist Party, Party did tweet before this announcement came out that China would act to ease some of the effect of the trade war and that would ease the negative impact on U.S and American companies. So we'll see if this does ease things before the negotiations. Jess, has President Trump or anyone in the administration responded yet to this news out of China? Not yet, but we'll be watching the president's Twitter feed and we'll be watching for any other administration reaction throughout the day. We'll be sure to let you know if they start speaking about it. All right, yes, watching the president's Twitter feed as we all <laughs> do every day. Yes. Thanks so much, Jess. Of course.